Oh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we're off to a hot start this morning here outside Shotgun Messiah. Uh-oh. Yep, this is already really bad. Of course, oh my god, look at all the zombies. This isn't even a horde, this is just the regular zombies. Okay, just uh, go inside, close the door. I didn't bring any bombs with me. That was probably a mistake. I don't even think I spent my skill points yet this morning. Also a mistake. Oh boy, let's just get into that right now. <laughs> I got about halfway and then got distracted with something. Just give me all the points right now. Go, 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 go. And that should do it. Oh, and they just broke in. <laughs> oh, jeez. I think there's zombies in here too, aren't there? Uh, they're somewhere. Well, let me back outside. Oh, man. Mountain lion here, mountain lion there. Uh, can I get on top of that little rooftop there? Yes. Oh, good. I got the parkour skills back. All right, just going to take a moment to recuperate and get my weapons loaded and actually we'll go and spend the memory points as well. I think all I really want today is pain tolerance. Just get as many points into that as I possibly can. And then uh, we'll take one into, oh geez, I don't know, healing factor. I guess I got plenty of food with me today. Whoa, they're blowing up cars down here. Doing me all kinds of favors, look at that. Whoa, <laughs> the cat is like out of here now. I'd say that could have been worse. Right, well, let's get into it then. Probably should have brought some just regular bandages, but we can use the meat stew for first aid if we need to. And then hopefully we'll come across a bunch in here as well. And it's been a long time since I've been in here. Hello there. It'd be nice to run through here again and see what's going on. Ooh, got some stuff to buy in there. See if my knife skills are holding up. Yeah, not doing too bad. So today's not gonna be a day for looting every little thing. Mostly just looking for like upgrades to weapons and armor. Ooh, nice. Slap those on immediately. See what else we can get here. Okay, out into the courtyard and in through the window. Gotta remember the sort of sequence of things here. This is one of these awesome, these are my favorite types of POIs, the dungeon style where it's like, it's like an open building. You could go any way that you want to, but um, if you just go like the way they want you to go, it's a lot funner. Yep, I don't like all these ferals running after me, particularly. That's better. Check out this Magnum, man. This looks sick. And this is without the DLX fix. You can tell by when you look through the scope. He's uh, The DLX weapons fix is only good for a handful of weapons. I do, you know, hope that that gets kind of finished off here at some point. Not sure if the creator has given up because I haven't really seen an update recently, but, you know, I don't really follow it that closely either. Whoa, hello. All right, see if we can get some better tools today. Did I bring? No, I thought I had a, a looting candy with me, but I don't. Agility day was just the perfect day to select this POI here. We might have to come back on intellect day though. We have to do the trader. Whoa, hello. Might have to do the, we have to do the trader runs tomorrow anyway. So yeah, might have to come back here to finish things off and I'm really not looking too good already. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of hits here. Yeah, we don't need to spend all of our time digging up cobblestone and stuff like that. We have more cobblestone than we'll ever need. Holy cow, look at the zombies just loafing around outside. Okay, here we go. Whoops, <laughs> just, I'm so good at agility, aren't I? This is what I was trying to do here. We've got like super sneaky stealthy skills, so, and there, missed my first shot. Oh, out of stamina. Give me that arrow. Ooh, I really embedded that arrow in there, didn't I? So wait a minute, if I wrench these, what are these giving me? Electrical parts, quite a lot of them, in fact. Wow, that's, that's not too bad. I can make the impact driver, but I think I have to wait until I can like max out salvage operations so that I can craft a really good one. Oops, spider. Hello, get the big guns out for these guys. And then proceed to miss at least half my shots. Is this, where is this going? Into the elevator shaft area? Oh, I remember this. There's like, um, uh, I don't know, a, like a furnace over here or something? What's over here on the, on the left? Um, I don't know what you would call this, but I think there's loot in here. Oh, yes. Hey, that's a really nice compound bow. Probably far better than the wooden bow I have. Are you <laughs> you're kidding me? The friggin' t Quality 6 wooden bow is actually better. That's incredible. And this is like, this is comparing the, um, not including the modded values too. So, yeah, I guess we'll be sticking with the wooden bow then. 
Which is nice, I prefer that more over the compound bow anyway, just in terms of like look and feel and um, aesthetics, I guess. Holy crap, I just one-shotted four zombies, five zombies in a row. Morty there taking two. Another one, wow. Get wrecked. Oh, speaking of those motor tool parts I just found, we need to also get the auger crafted next time around on strength day. Lots to do, lots to remember. It's kind of difficult, I have to write stuff down. Kind of fits my uh, my memory problem thing anyway. Oh geez, like more, just tons of zombies out there. Oh, I'm getting those weird black boxes. That kind of happens, I don't know if that's an occlusion thing or what it is. Here we go. Oh, not getting the one shots now, am I? That will do. Boom, where'd you come from? Oh, geez, heading up to the rooftop, I guess, or maybe they're all gonna head down here. Oh, bird came through the glass. Holy goodness, okay. I think they were, weren't these guys supposed to ambush me? Any more of you just hiding in here somewhere? There's a bird. Ah, the businessman area. Whoop, bird. <laughs> ah! Oh man, I'm getting crazy now. Hello, hello. Get out of here. Off the building with you. <laughs> man, <laughs> there's gonna be so many zombies downstairs. Whoa! Oh, damn it. Time for a first aid kit, I think. Yep, for sure. Here we go. They're running to the front door. Oh, hello, goodbye. I'm sure they'll find me eventually. There'll be a big freaking wave when I turn around a corner. Ah! Yeah, I can hear, this is, is this an ambush? What is this? Hello? Close that. Oh, spider. Into the elevator shaft. Nothing going on here. Is there? Or is there? Nothing going on here. Okay. I don't know where the zombies are. Are they in the stairwell? I have no idea. Moving right along then. Close the door behind me. Oh, geez. Okay, we can get the drop on some zombies here. I get the sense that I could just basically sneak past every zombie here and probably like do this whole place without killing only a handful of zombies. Oh, right in the toe. <laughs> Oh, and off with your leg, too. There's a bandage for me for a little bit later. Aha, yes, this is where all the uh, the burn zombies are, right? Open this door. Can I maybe... Oh, ooh, that one's a feral. Oh, thank you. Got, ooh, several of them. Oh, right in the... Well, whoops. Oh, man. Yep, yeah, starting to wake up now. Come on over here. Oh, the burn zombies, they're so soft. No challenge at all. Maybe they should be able to, like, set you on fire when they hit you. Whoop! Okay, first aid ward. We kind of probably should stock up on some of that stuff. Speaking of that, I crafted a chemistry station this morning. Just a gold nugget sitting in there. Great. Yeah, I crafted up a chemistry station. I looked, we have eight wheels. There's a bar brawling book there. Um, whoa, 5% more damage with each kill up to 15%. I'll take that for sure. That is it's kind of one of the critical components there for the invincible brawler build. Whoops. Yep, so we got eight wheels, which means tomorrow, and I'm crafting a bunch of steel. So tomorrow we should be able to get uh, a gyrocopter, maybe crafted, maybe that, or maybe we'll do a four by four. Probably not both. I don't think we'd have enough steel, but gyro definitely top on my list. Okay, out and over, and on to the balcony with the birds. Go around here. These, I think some zombies are trying to beat their way through. Oh, ow, getting flanked by a feral. A couple of them, yikes. Ah, not the gun I need. Oh no, no, no. That's bad. Whoa, almost died. Get a first aid kit into me. Oh, I accidentally pulled out the bow. That almost cost me my life too, and all of my gear for that matter. Oh, I'm fatigued as well. That's not good. And infected. Nothing I can do about either of those things. Whoa, we can just hope for the best here. Ah! Oh, you are lean, you bitch. Doesn't the last shot in the chamber do double damage? Did I ever get that book? I don't know. Oh, the Magnum. It's fun to use, it's just not exactly the most practical weapon. Gotta like channel my 
inner Rick Grimes. Oh, there we go. Got a whole bunch of zombies coming over here. Okay, jump over everybody. Ooh, got a rad there. Yikes. That's exciting. Wonder what we have to look forward to at the boss fight up on the helipad later. Okay, I can't be doing that all day though because I'm gonna run out of ammo. I've only been finding like 762. Trying to use the Magnum more. Okay, what time we got? We got 1541. I'd say we're halfway through. We're making pretty good time here. It's not like, you know, we can go into the night. That's no big deal. Who's awake? People in there? People up there? I don't know where everyone is. Definitely a lot of people downstairs on the ground level. That's gonna be fun trying to get out of here later. Right, oh, here they are. Ah! Oh, the bird, ah! Oh no, oh my god! It seems like if you're using the knife, you know, it's it hasn't been too bad in terms of stamina use. Check that bag, grab that. Oh, get out of here, that was some more magnum ammo. Yeah, because, um. I think Flurry of Blows, it grants you a bunch of stamina on kill strokes, so you're able to kind of keep up with things. Hey, hey, skill point. Oh dear, let's go um, healing factor again. Um, I'm just peeking in there. By the way, I think I missed a uh, secret stash earlier, but you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Can I just be through here to see what's behind this? Secret stuff? What's back here? Oh, ooh. Some, like gear shafts. Oh, is that another? Is that a hidden stash over there? Oh, I bet it is. Give me that. Yeah, isn't there one in the water? I I'll jump down there later if I remember and try to get that. Yeah, it's it's down there. You jump in the pool. You go underwater. I'll probably forget to do it though. Is this something secret? It is. Oh, more secret stuff. I don't know about if I've ever been through this section here. Oh, I see. You're supposed to go around like that. Huh. Interesting. Well, moving right along then. Hmm, <laughs> parkour just opening up all kinds of new possibilities for me. Hello? Where's all the workers in here? Oh, a bunch more. Come on over here. Okay, got uh, where did all you guys come from? Wasn't I just over there? Okay, and then we got a bunch that are coming in behind that door there. Well, I don't know. I can't just leave you guys back here. Okay, let's go. Oh, they're coming in through the stairwell. Great. Whoa, where, where are you guys? Holy crap, is that a rat? Why are you here? Oh, you're the rat from earlier that I saw and I never ended up killing. It must have fallen down. Holy goodness, lots of zombies back there. Also dying. All right, Rad's down, primary threat. Put the friggin' cylinder back in the gun there, there you go. Oh, jeez, that, that freaked me out there a little bit. A random gun safe here with just some parts in it, really. More zombies, great, ah, ow. Okay, just bring them over here into this mess. <laughs> I'd say it's working pretty well. They're all caught up on it. Looks like a World War One scene. All quiet on the Western Front. Oh, jeez. I don't know where I was supposed to be going. I was just kind of exploring and found a lot of zombies here. Maybe just be very quiet. <laughs> He'll stay asleep. Okay, because the stairwell back there was open, but I'm not sure if that would have just led to a d dead end. So I think I'll just continue this way. Man, the detail in this place is just insane. And then in Alpha 21, when they get the environmental hazard system set up, I bet it'll be even better because you'll have some like uh, fire obstacles and things like that. Ooh, right up the butt. Oh, another one. Ah, I remember this place. There's a bunch of zombies over on this side. Ah! Oh no! Jeez, oh, of course when you need it, it takes four friggin' headshots to kill them. And I woke everybody up, including a rat over there. Whoop, that guy just teleported away somewhere. Ooh! Getting close to death here. Is that our teleportee? He teleported back? Alright, just sorting out the first aid and hunger situation. Okay, this is the side where all of our sleepy friends were. They're very sleepy now, kind of like a permanent slumber. We're getting close, we're almost there, aren't we? 
Yeah, because we just came back here, which is where we were a second ago when we were fighting. Oh, and then we go outside, right, into the office, and any... Oop, 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 close that. Any good drinks? <laughs> Piss all, nope. Oh, some beer, that's not too bad, but we don't need that today. Or, or do we? Like, what happens? What, what is this again? Just basically stamina regen and stun resist for 45 seconds. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely, definitely took a wrong turn somewhere because it just looped us right back to where we just were. That's the problem with the zombies kind of breaking in everywhere is that uh, they've opened up all the doors that would have been locked and would have directed me on the right way because then we would have come out here. We just did this place backwards, didn't we? I don't know, I'm so freaking confused right now. Yeah, because we would have come through here, that door would have been locked and we would have gone up the stairs that I was talking about earlier. Here we go. Oh yes, we're onto the freaking helipad. Okay, for this, um, okay, it's almost nightfall. We got to hurry up here. We've got a... Um, skull Crusher, which a lot of people think that that only works with like sledgehammers or clubs or whatever, but it works for all melee weapons, and that's just about the best we can do there, I think. Yeah, let's just go ahead and take a meat stew. That'll kind of like give us some more health to roll in, and um, coffee, and oh man, this is about to break, which is just not good at all. Oh crap. Reload this then, and let's do this. Okay, what do we got here? I think I got a full auto mod on this. I know I do. Oh, red. Oh, jeez. And another burnt, uh, burning burnt zombie. Ah. Oh, there's just no place to hide here. No place to hide. We've got to roll back to. Ooh, this is not a good place to hide either. To here? Oh, jeez. Wish I had some bombs. I don't know. All right. Show me what you got. You got more than I do. Oh, jeez. Reload faster. Oh, come on, Morty. Holy shit. And is that it? Just about. Ooh, ow. Oh, finally got a deep laceration. I'm freaking bleeding. I got nothing to do. Uh, we're, we're bleeding, but we in fact have more health rolling in faster. So it's not even a big deal. I'll just let it clot all by itself. Would be a good idea if I had some bandages that I could do up real fast. Uh, don't I have some like gothic pants and... That's leather, I don't want that. College jacket. I should be able to make a bandage with that. Two of them. So if I start bleeding again, I'll just use that instead of the first aid kit. All right, well, what's next here? Down, over, around, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, jump down there and get the freaking bird nest. Real smart move. What is this here, anyway? They expect me to jump up there without parkour skills. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh. Man, this is just all, there's like a lot left, it seems like. We've got to go through all of this stuff. Well, that's good. We've got a strong door here we can fall back to if we need to. A couple of them, it seems. Okay, and then another one over here. Another one here. Holy cow. Okay, this just is all connected, isn't it? No reason to go down. Oh, that's our main loot up there. Oh, do I really want to go down here? Do I have to? There's so many zombies down there. Wah! Close that freaking door. Ow. Oh, no stamina. Okay, we're good. Please give me a repair kit. Crap. Um, if I could find some forged iron, I could make one because I have one duct tape up and out. Nope, no forged iron in here. Wait a minute. These give you forged steel, maybe. Uh, no, I guess you can't wrench those. I'm totally lost again. Where am I supposed to go? Where are you, aren't you supposed to go down this way and then out over here? And we're doing things backwards again, or what? Oh man, I don't know at this point. I feel like I've done half of this place backwards. It's kind of embarrassing. Well, at this stage, I'm just gonna use parkour to get to the top and probably call it good. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh no, that was a rad that I just woke up there. Yep, okay, we're just going up here and just wake everybody up. What the hell? Get that last first aid kit into me. Where is everybody? Birds. Not what I want to fight right now. Ah! Oh no. Um, nope, nothing's broken, but I'm moving really slow. Uh, oh jeez. Just keep running. Um, okay, up here and over here. Just gotta deal with this bird. Are you kidding me, you teleporting son of a bitch? Hurting real bad. Nothing I can really do about that. Eat meat stew, I guess. Doesn't seem like there were many zombies down there. At least I didn't maybe wake them all up. All right, control tower is secure, at least 
one more zombie down around here somewhere. Oh, is this what I was supposed to do? What the hell? Am I supposed to... Oh, son of a bitch. I was supposed to come in through this way, wasn't I? <laughs> and then go right up the stairs and then right out to the, the end right here. Well, it's over with anyway. We've got to go into this tower here, I think, because there are, like, Shotgun Messiah boxes in there. And we can grab up the main loot here. But the inventory is a little messed up, so I'll have to work on that as well. Hey, there's my vitamin. Oh, nice lever action rifle. Ooh, a good stun baton. Wow, getting exactly what I was looking for here. Lots of upgrades of weapons and... A bunch of parts to boot. First try. Okay. Nothing great there, honestly. What is this? Security camera bundle. Whoopee. All right, I got to sort through all this stuff now. Oh, yep. More shotgun messiah boxes in here. And there's... Are there more down there? Or no, I already got the ones that are down there. More up here, maybe? Um, oh, hello. Ow. Weapons bag, that's it. We can scrap that, take the spear parts, and... Oh! Is that Rad? Still there? Did I not kill him? <laughs> and he, like, he teleported back into his sleeping position. And I can easily just jump right straight down here. No problem at all. Wake him up. Can't have you sleeping on the job here. Come on! Whoa! Damn, they're strong. Right, and from here, I promised I would try to remember to go down and get the hidden stash that's down there. So, down we go. That did hurt. Quite a lot, actually. Yes. Am I in the right spot now? Okay, I see a secret passageway here. And, uh, Up. Here. Zombies kind of everywhere. Ah, they're behind me. Oh, boy. Yes, this is tight quarters around here. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, motorcycle handlebar schematic, stupid! Okay, is there like an easy way to get out of here? It looks like there might be over here. Oh, yes, just gotta break through this and jump! Ah! Oh no! Oh, they tried to pin me in from the top! Oh, it's not good, I really don't have any stamina. Just hold the ground! Ah! Oh, oh my god! Why, why are there so many? Oh my god, there's just so many zombies. I think they're all just ones that wandered in from outside. Oh boy. They move fast too. Even the fat ones. Oh, they hit really hard. Goodbye. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna run out of ammo here in a minute. Grab this loot. Of course, nothing really that I need in there. Get rid of that stupid blood bag. I don't need to make first aid kits. Yeah, and how, how am I going to get out of here now? Psh, this will do right here. Just run around the building. Cat! Oh, no, 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 no. Just skirt the edge of the building. Yep, he's not going to notice me. Oh, man, I'm so done with this place. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> I'll meet you back at the base. All right, so we're back at the base here. I have everything put away. We didn't really get anything special there, but we need to start working on <laughs> all of these debuffs. Let's take an antibiotic after that, and the abrasion will heal by itself. And yes, 25%. That'll be plenty to get rid of that infection. Um, yeah, we're still on agility day, but I have the intellect weapons kind of ready. And before we left yesterday, I think I crafted a repulsor mod so we can start benefiting from that on the stun baton. And I'll get a couple extra mods for it as well. Achoo! Wish I had a couple more rad removers, honestly. Can I make those? No. So, <laughs> wood splitter it is. And it's officially morning. One last thing to do, though, before we take the forgetting elixir, and that is... Oh, yes, my knife. I would like to make a better knife if I could. Ah, oh, I can't. I don't have the thing unlocked. So that, that'll that just have to do, I guess. So yeah, machete. Machete goes there. Machete stays on the inventory here just for our animal harvesting on the off chance that we have to do that, which honestly, we we really don't have to do that anymore. That's fine. Start, start kind of like simplifying things on the tool belt. I'm also making a big box of AP turret ammunition, and I think it's finally time we can uh, put this down, although... I made a mistake earlier, and I, I didn't do things 
quite right, unfortunately. So maybe where we don't need it just yet, we'll just start making some preparations. We're gonna have to rip this out, which basically will just consist of not putting any more stone into it for cement and making sure that we craft all of the cement out. So put a pin in that one. I'm also getting like a lot of kind of lag here at the base now. And so I tried to turn some of the lights off because I think I might've overdone it with all the lights. But what we really need to do is get all of these lights here on like a timer or even just a switch so we can kind of just like turn them off when we don't want them. Oh, oh, I'm shooting myself with darts. Yikes. Yeah, I'll just let the, let the dart trap do it. It's doing fine. Yep, so that's the to-do list. Rewire the base and visit the traders. Oh, also, we're gonna see if we can craft some vehicles. So grab up the forged steel and things like a gyrocopter chassis. What's, uh, oh, <laughs> of course we can't do that. We haven't taken the forget elixir yet. Take that, and of course we should be able to go full into intellect, no problem and a bunch of memory points, which I really want to put into Flurry of Blows and probably Parkour. That will do it. Oh, would you please just kill these zombies? What the hell, man? Die! Finally getting XP for those kills now that I have advanced engineering. That feels good. Right, so Gyrocopter Chassis, short on tape. You can make plenty of tape, so get started on the accessories. Grab up the 165 glue here and start making tape. We're going to need an, an... Yeah, just turn that off for now. I think we'll be okay. Just make sure this is sealed up. Yeah, seal that up. Okay, so we, now we can get the gyrocopter chassis, no problem. And then after that, we should be good there. I used a lot of steel, though. So while we're working on that, let's head over to the traders and do a big sell-off. Is there anything here that I really, really need to repair up? I mean, I don't really think that there is. I'm fine with that stuff. We, we're, we're not at a point where we really need to buy anything anyway. One thing that sometimes people don't quite uh, grasp in the comment section is that uh, I'm on a bit of a timer here. Like if I was gonna sit here and repair every little thing and I was gonna get all the materials ready for it and make a whole bunch more repair kits because I only have one right now, uh, that could take like well into like noontime one o'clock and I wouldn't see very much benefit from doing that So we're skipping it. Whoop! the problem with having the power off is the doors don't work <laughs> scratch that idea Yeah, we just need to get all of the lights on a timer relay so that they'll shut off when it's daytime All right, here we are at Trader Bob's we'll take the sugar butt and do the big sell-off Okay, we made a good amount of money there. It just occurred to me, and I think someone was commenting about this a couple of episodes ago. I should be having the Magnum out, because didn't I read that book? No, no, I don't even have that book, so eat that. <laughs> no, you can you can remind me about that stuff all you want to, but I'll still forget to do it. Oh, yes. Pipe bombs? We want pipe bombs? We want pipe bombs. Of course we do. We want grenades? Hell yes. Oh, bellows. Like, yeah, we definitely need that for the, the other forge. We have two forges and only one really has anything in it. Oh, I was just looking at the steel crossbow bolts. I forgot to make the damn compound crossbow again yesterday. Damn it. We do have a sniper book here. Also have a an awesome sauce recipe. Might as well get that. Although, we haven't... We don't have the super corn yet anyway. And I honestly don't know if we're gonna get there. So we're gonna do the secret stash trick again. I know I said I would never do it again, but <laughs> this is like the regular secret stash trick, not like the the forgetting elixir super duper secret stash trick advanced level, you know? So what we do is we have uh, we have 10 points right now because one is that the green one there, the 10th point is coming from the, the nerdy glasses. And so if I take those off, just put them in the inventory, that bumps my intellect down one and it disables the better barter level five. And so it bumps us down to level four. So we get an entirely new secret stash um, inventory to go through. This is the secret stash trick. You can do it at any if level. So if you have an intellect you point get? and you take off your glasses, your nerdy glasses, and you bump yourself from five to four, four to three, three to two, whatever, uh, any one of those will unlock an entirely new secret stash uh, inventory for you to go through. And look at that, we got an extra book out of it too, nice. That would definitely be it though. Nothing else here really exciting at all. Fair enough. I don't even think it's worth it to go to the other traders today. I think we might as well basically just head home and get to work on the base a little bit. There's a couple paint touch-ups that we have to do anyway. So get my right glasses back on, read these couple of books. What was this for anyway? Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. It's freaking the best book in the game. 
And uh, te weapons do 10% more damage when using the scope. I like that as well. All right, let's go. So one thing that I wanted to talk about briefly here on the way back home is that, whoa, we're getting some major lag here. It must be all the trees in the area, maybe. Uh, is that you might have noticed the last, uh, I don't know, week or two, I've only been releasing two episodes per week on Borderline, and that's going to continue until the end of the series. And that's because it is currently November. We're heading into December and I'm just going to be perfectly honest with you, you know, when YouTubers head into the November, December time frame, it's time to make money, right? Because advertising budgets are about to run out for the fiscal year for a lot of companies. And so they're pumping a lot of money into YouTube. And that means that YouTubers make bank in the, at the end of the year. And so my strategy to capitalize on that, because this is my business, it's my primary means of income, and it's my full-time job right now, is going to be to release a lot of videos that I think will probably get more views than a typical borderline video. So things like, uh, I did like the top 20 mods, we're gonna be doing more videos kind of in that vein in the future. I'm gonna release probably pretty soon, maybe even shortly after this video, I'm gonna be working on like a top 10 survival games coming to 2023. So. Uh, you can expect some different content. You can expect the series to slow down just a little bit here, but um, we're, we're definitely uh, gonna finish this before the end of the year, that's the goal. I wanna finish this by December, I would say. I think it's gonna be mid-December. I'd have to look at my schedule. I have uh, I have the whole like release schedule done up for the rest of the year. Oh, Repulsor mod, nice. But yeah, so uh, anyway, I was kind of being a little bit tangential there, but um, so we're going to do two episodes a week. I can't, I can't really commit to whether that's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, or Tuesday, Saturday. But um, either way, you'll get two episodes of Borderline until the series completes, which will be day fifty-six, I think. I don't know. We're going to do two weeks in the wasteland, and then we'll have the finale after that. And hopefully by then, Alpha Twenty-One will be out, or at least will be closer to it, so that I can maybe do do some like like a little mini bridge series in order to get us to the conclusion of Alpha 20. All right, so we should be ready to make the gyrocopter. Get that done. Got myself an electric timer relay. And really, there's no way for me to make this entertaining. So I'm just going to sit here for the next uh, several hours and get everything hooked back up the way I would like to have it. All right, so I've got everything rearranged here. I've redone the wiring system, but honestly, I was expecting better. It really, it just looks like trash up here now <laughs> instead of looking like trash downstairs. Oh boy. I'm just so bad at this. Someone had suggested that, I think it was Mikey, uh, had suggested that next time we build a base, we should make like a two block high area between levels that we can kind of like a crawl space, basically, that we can put all the wires in. And I think that's probably a good idea. I'll have to incorporate that into the next big base design. Um, the lights are on a timer, and I don't think that they're on right now. I don't even think I set the timer, so I'm going to jump up here and see what I can get for this. Okay, we'll say start time... 2100 end time four just like that and hopefully they will come on and everything else should be working should be powered it's just when you have a lot of spotlights and you have this reflective type of paint it becomes very difficult for the game to kind of handle all of the reflections and stuff like that so that's why i think i'm having some lag difficulty here at the base now anyway let's grab the leftover steel and make sure that we have the well the, the fighting position for sure yes definitely want to get this upgraded fully and oh, that was 49 right off the top right there, yikes. Well, keep going, get these just done once and for all, and just, yes, make sure these are all repaired after that. And otherwise, I think we're good for repairs out here. Looks pretty good to me. I'm sure we're gonna lose a lot of this cobblestone if there's ever a demo blast out here, but the goal is just has to be <laughs> no more demos. No, no demo blasts, please. Oh, the bedroll, of course, this is gonna be a problem here we'll just sleep right there how's that <laughs> that's awful we can't do that we got to build ourselves a little bunk bed oh geez but the question is where where do i want to sleep not only where do you want to sleep but also you need a i think a three block height above where you sleep yeah because i look i if i put a block there oh no it's just uh just two blocks uh, i think so i could put a bunk bed here, we could just knock this sign out. I'd rather sleep above the um, cement mixers than I would the forges. And um, I like using these supported scaffolding planks for like a little bunk bed. And of course, you need, need a little ladder to get up there, right? And uh, we'll change the color of the bedroll to red. Although, probably black's better. Army green, gray. Uh, is there black? There's no black? I guess we'll take gray then. And jump up here and yes. Oh, it fits good. Try to keep the 
theme here, but we want something like comfortable to lay on, right? Like how about this awning color? Does that look any good? Doesn't look bad, I guess. Yep, I'll take that. Let's just be a, a little sleepy bunk bed up here. <laughs> I like it. Sounds like we had a cop out there. We also got an airdrop, but might as well wait till tomorrow. It's right there, so we can get, uh, we can pick that up. And there's more, like, way out here that I haven't picked up. So tomorrow on Perception Day, we'll have to make it a point to scoop up all three of these airdrops while we have Lucky Looter. Right, and that leaves us with just a couple of hours left in the day. Not quite sure what we should do with that. We have a little bit of fun with the stun baton. Oh, you know what might be killing the frame rate is these stupid torches. We'll scoop these up. Yeah, now it's very, very dark in here. But we're not really out here much anyway, so I think it's okay. So we've got the gyrocopter. Oh, I got these lanterns here because I want to put them in the garage so we have some sort of permanent lighting down there. I figured just the lanterns would be easier than trying to string down some timer relays and all that stuff. So we'll just on face them. I'll try to center them a little bit here. How about like that? That looks pretty good. So let's head out here and we put the gyrocopter down. Of course, don't have any gas right now. Gas and how about an extra fuel saver? Short on acid. That's that's a bummer, but we can get the reserve fuel tank at least. Funny we haven't seen a horde unless there was one at the shotgun mess. Whoa! Anyway, shouldn't jinx it like that. Refuel, and we'll take her for a little bit of a test drive here. Gotta get my uh, gyrocopter legs, if you will. And here's where the big question is. What what are we gonna do for a landing pad? I mean, we seriously, we could just like land it <laughs> right here and like just kind of scoot it right inside the base, just like this. Give or take, right? Just make sure the other vehicles are pushed off to the side. Oh, grab that black die off that stupid mini bike that's been on there this entire damn playthrough. Throw it on the gyrocopter instead looks much better on that. I just like whip onto the bike, it kind of like flips it over so they're kind of leaning against the wall. Funny you don't get a kickstand with them, but anyway. I think this will do for now and just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see us build like a big gyrocopter landing pad somewhere. Um, theoretically, we could put one right here and just make like a little catwalk bridge over to that portion of the base there. But honestly, if you're going to do that, is that really saving us a lot of time? But anyway, let me know what you'd like to see. I think for the rest of the night, I'd like to, well, come on this side because there's a little bit better lighting. And I'll show you what I might have in mind for like, um, a window frame for these windows here. Okay, so I... There not there probably a couple of ways to do this here? Right, because you want these like whole corners, not that one, that's centered, that one. Because we could make some pretty nice looking window frames like this here. What's that look like from out here? Um, not bad. It's like, it's less flat, so I do like that. And if we paint it red, it'll contrast well and I think it'll look good. And then I have plenty of room over here for some spikes. Question is, do we want like the bulky spikes or the little spikes? Okay, that's that's bulky, and those are the the smaller spikes there. Mmm, well, uh, I don't know. I would say that I I quite prefer the smaller spikes, but there's another option. I was playing on the multiplayer server there a couple of days ago. I think it was actually it was last night. And on the multiplayer ser server, someone was experimenting with some really cool designs. And I kind of want to actually want to compare them and see what they would look like here. Uh, it was in the destruction blocks, and it was this one right here. This makes like a really interesting order, especially because. There's a, like a unique way that you can kind of like put the paint behind it to give it some like dimension. Oh, and you can also like flip it around like that. That kind of like breaks it up. Oh, is that? No, that, I think that's the same. No, it's not the same. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, what was that gonna look like there? Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't It doesn't go well with like the ramps that we put here for these columns. Where, where, where could I put those where they would look good? Anywhere? Nah, I'm probably screwed. I'm probably gonna have to like think of a way I can incorporate this sort of a design into a future base and we'll just kind of stick with the spiky base for now. All right, so that's what it's gonna look like right there. I think it's looking good. Just gonna repeat that uh, on like five more windows. But that is definitely a task that I can complete overnight. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, my name is Tim Ricky, and I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.